Chris Roberts here for Fight Up TV. I'm joined by Josh Taylor. Just want to say congratulations. That was a fantastic yeah. performance. How, how, how are you feeling after that? I'm great, yeah, I'm great. Um, easy fight for me, to be honest. Um, never got out of second gear. Um, just felt, I felt on song. I felt everything was just working perfectly. Um, nice and relaxed and everything, you know. I just, I just felt great and um, never got out of second gear, to be honest. I, I knew straight away in that first round I had my good shot, a good shot to the body. I had him a solid jab as well. And I think he was shocked at how big and how strong I am yeah, at the weight, yeah. you know. Um, I know I'm not a knockout artist puncher, but I, I can punch. And I know if, if I hit you clean, I'm hurting you. And I think he was shocked, um, shocked at my speed and my time. Um, he told me that when I went over to see him, he's, he couldn't read me, I was too fast. And um, my timing, you know, just done everything different every time. My approach, and I felt great, I felt brilliant. You seem to be working a lot to the body as well. Um, you seem to be wearing them down as the rounds are going on. Yeah. Was that a tactic going into the fight? Um, no, really, I'm, I'm a good body puncher, you know, and I, I vary my punches up. Um, but it was just, I seen him at the weigh-in yesterday and through the week, took his top off, very skinny round the mid, round the mid and around the body. He was very slim and very small. So I knew if I hit him in the body, if someone with that little mid part of the body, yeah, you're not going to be strong taking body shots. So I knew I was, I knew that I was going to hit him, take the body often enough, um, he would, he would slow down, he would get hesitant. Uh, you say, you know. It was an easy fight, but um, the levels there were just unbelievable. Um, you know, it was predictions. You know, going into this fight, that this guy was, you know, really coming to win. He looked, he looked up for it. To be fair, yeah. he looked in good shape. Yeah. But the levels you just shown there tonight, mate, were just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah I just, I just, um, to be fair, he is a very good fighter. You know, he, he was strong in the guard. He had a good jab, um, and he, he kind of could kind of punch a little bit as well. You know, he was strong, but I just felt that it was just different levels, he just couldn't read me, he was just amused with my speed, my timing and my power I think, um, he just, um, he kind of froze after I hit him, after I hit him solid in the first round he kind of froze and um, I could see him lining up to get the to get the, the shots off, I just I wasn't there. So, yeah, yeah. There, was, there was many times where you were just in and out but I think you hit the nail on the head, he, he did seem to freeze in that first round yeah. uh, and, you, and you made him freeze really, I don't yeah. think, it, I mean he hardly threw a punch in that yeah. first round, yeah. you're thinking you know I was going to win the fight if he's not prepared to throw a punch but yeah. he, he, you were in and out and he just couldn't, he just, as you say, he yeah. just couldn't land. Um, but yeah, I was just blown away because I say it's the first time I've seen you live. Yeah. Uh, you know, actually been at the fight, and it was just, just amazing. I mean, it was almost. Would you say it was almost a, a perfect performance? Uh, near enough, yeah, near enough. Um, I think I only got caught a couple of times when I decided to actually stand and put my hands up and feel what kind of power I had. Um, I think that's the only time I got caught because when I let him hit me once or twice, um, and that was the only time I got caught. And then I thought, right. It's, easy let's go and, and back to the game plan and uh, picked him apart yeah I mean you know that, that part of the fight maybe it was I don't know maybe three or four but he kind of got a little bit close got into his short chest as he's thrown a few button, shots into the body um, were, were you looking for, the, for the, were you looking to get him out there at that point um, no no really I knew I was hurting him I just thought I'd just keep hitting him keep hitting him hard I knew he was hesitant and I knew I was hurting him to the body um, so I just knew that if I keep hurting him he was going to slow down um, but then, when I, start, I think it was maybe fifth or sixth round, I started coming in a bit closer because I was starting to get to him and I started to push him back then. Um, and then I caught him that good shot round the side of the head and I went, for the, went in for it. And you know, um, But I wasn't expecting to, to knock him out, you know, I wasn't going in to look to knock him out, just going in the box and hit him and hit him hard and that's exactly what I did. And next fight, are we going to see the, the new uh, IBF champion? Yeah, yeah, Baranchek. Um, I've seen snippets of his fight. Um, look strong, you know, look explosive. So, but I honestly feel that I'm, I'm going to beat him as well. I honestly feel I'm ready for for anybody now. I feel like yeah. I'm ready for anybody. Well, listen, mate, it was just an unbelievable statement and um, so impressive. I, I say I'm almost like lost for words to articulate it, and I don't mean to throw sort of be blow much, smoke up your ass, but. It was just amazing, which I say it was uh, just perfect. Well, probably one of the best performances I've seen live as well. So, you know, fair play to you. Can't yeah. wait to see you in the next round. Good luck and uh, good man. Thanks very much. Cheers, Cheers thanks mate. a lot, Thank good you. man. Cheers, Cheers thanks. Thank you.